Hi everybody, how are you? Simon here again. This is the start of a new love story. The story is about a young lady by the name of O. 24 years old, living and working in Patea. She's been working in the entertainment zone since she was 16. She has only ever worked in beer bars. However, coming from Bangkok, she wasn't a, uh, a farm girl. She was actually from a, a lower class family that live in Bangkok and her family had a fruit store but she did get a good education. She also learned English at a young age to a reasonably good standard. Now, from the age of 16 up till 24, she didn't move around too many of the bars, but she did gain huge experience in Business with foreigners, let's say. She was taught by a couple of other girls all the ways that she could pull at heartstrings, manipulate the heart of a foreigner. She learnt every trick in the book as you want as if you want to call it trick. Um, for a better word, how to pull those heartstrings very quickly, i.e., letting the foreigner hear what he wanted to hear, um, taking care of the foreigner in aerobics, in tours, just every single moment she spent with foreigners she treated them very very well she learnt that the older the foreigner was it was a better chance that they'd have more disposable income she didn't want to get married she saw quite a few of the girls get married and go off to various countries some successfully some not so successfully but the stories came back that some of the girls that went off to the foreign countries would be working over there but not saving much money not having much money having to work for it and not sending huge amounts of money back home there were the exceptions but the stories a friend she knew seemed to push her away from settling down with a foreigner. She really, really studied body language of foreigners, how, why they came to Thailand, what were they looking for. Some were looking just for aerobics, some were looking for the attention to detail, the the love and care of a good woman. Maybe they had bad experiences in their own country with women. Maybe they were divorced and they just wanted to be loved. But it soon became obvious to her at that very young age that some foreigners would throw money at her just to be loved and hear the right words and to be taken care of like almost like royalty she became a seasoned professional at extracting every single penny she could she was a professional businesswoman a bit like Apple was in one of my old bars Oh knew exactly what to do and at what point to give up and move on. 
Now, for quite a few of those years, she was employed by bars. Again, she learned that she could freelance around two or three bars and please herself with her hours. That way, not having to answer to any of the bar managers or mama sons. So she became a freelancer. But at the age of 24, she'd already accumulated a couple of million baht in her bank account. She, like Apple was, she had a goal to save as much money as she could and then to set herself up for a nice life and her family. Her family were okay, they, they had that little business, the fruit stall, and they had a, a moderate home. She didn't have brothers or sisters, so she was the only person sending money home. And she'd send 10,000, sometimes more, 20,000 baht a month back to her family. She never told them what she was doing, and they never asked, but they were very happy to get the money every month. She went and saw them once a month and she'd turn up in nice clothes and she'd make out that she was working in the cosmetic industry, whether it was retail or wholesale. But always said that she was doing well and came across genuine to them. They were very proud of her. This story starts at her 24th birthday. With the money in the bank, she started looking for ways of making even more money for less work. There was quite a few stories coming out of villages and into the entertainment zones about girls making money from Sinsod. So this is the money that a foreigner would meet a girl, decide to get married, and it's a dowry, giving money to the family for all their hard work, bringing the girl up, sending her to college, university, whatever. It was a sort of compensation for them losing their daughter. Now, again in Thailand, you can marry a Thai man, Thai woman, on a village ceremony, without even registering it at an amphitheater the council registry office you don't need to register it. you can just have a village marriage and it it's accepted and it seems that some girls were taking advantage of this and O had heard these stories and thought that she'd give it a try currently at 24 she had about seven foreigners that were visiting Thailand regularly and sending her money regularly for her not to work. Of course, she was taking the money and moving around and she'd move around uh, the country if needed to keep those foreigners separate and to visit them. Sometimes she'd be with one, she'd just tell the other one she couldn't see them. She was busy at home or something wrong at home. She thought she'd try this, this new Sinsod thing that's going on around. And one of her foreigners she'd been seeing for over a year, his name was Dave. Um, I believe from the Netherlands, somewhere in Europe anyway. And she'd been seeing him for over a year and he was really keen to marry her. Now, in order for her to be able to try this new sin sod, um, I don't want to use a certain word beginning with S, this, this new method of extracting money from foreigners, for her to try it, she needed a pretend family in a village. She had many friends and many girls in the entertainment zone who lived up north or up in Isan. 
it didn't take long for her to figure out that if she was to pay one of her friends who had a house in Isan to actually buy a mother or a person to be pretend to be her mother and to rent this house off her friend in Isan and for her friend to help it was almost like a pantomime act she was setting up a foreigner to marry her in a village she knew exactly what was required she'd already planned the dates the foreigner was coming Dave was coming she spoke to him many times on email stating that she'd like to marry him and he was over the moon and said the same she said the first step would be for him to meet her mother in East Han and for them to have a ceremony but there would be a dowry, a sin sod. She explained it to Dave. He was mediumly well off. He was a single guy, 31, 32 years old, young, um, successful in whatever he did. She lined him up and he landed. She met him at the airport. She spent a couple of nights in Bangkok with him. They had a wonderful time. They went and bought a suit for him and a, a wedding outfit for her. They then hired a minivan which took them up to a village in Isan. Waiting at this house was a woman who was an actor, actress, and her friend. She told Dave she didn't have brothers and sisters, only a mother and, well, a mother and a sister. So the sister was her friend, the mother was in place, and there'll be a small ceremony um, but he had to pay the dowry first and had to show some gold while they were in Bangkok he actually bought a, two bars of gold about a thousand euros the dowry she was asking for was 750,000 baht 20,000 pounds, 20,000 euros, something like that, and it had to be in cash. Whilst they're in Bangkok, Dave secured those funds in cash from bank transfers and money he brought with him on the flight. Ceremony in the village, small ceremony, showed the gold, gave the mother the money, and gave the gold to O. Ceremony over, they were married in a village ceremony. At that point, O said to him, let's go and have a honeymoon. And he was keen, Phuket, obvious place for honeymoon. They minivan back to uh, the airport near there. So it was, it was Udon, I think, Udon Tani flew down to Phuket. Now before they left the house, O had got this girl and this lady, paid the lady. The girl she gave some money to and while Dave was at the house, somehow she, sn she sn snuck off um, to a local bank, placed that money in her bank account. So it couldn't have been too far from a bank. Maybe she took him with her shopping and then she went to the bank, but he didn't know that she'd got that money and put it in the bank. He thought the mother was got the money and everything was fine. They were now married. Anyway, they went off to Phuket. Weeks honeymoon, five-star luxury. His new wife and him, Dave and O, had a great time. Dave then suggested that he wanted to take O back to his home country and that he would have to start a visa process. She said, fine, um, you'll have to go back and I'll stay here or go back to my mum's. Give me some money to travel around and some money for me, please. Which he did, probably another 100,000 baht. And he flew off back to Europe. 
this new system had worked for her. She paid a friend handsomely, she paid the lady and the rent on the house for a friend and she was 700, well let's say 700,000 baht better off plus money David given and it didn't take a lot to finish with Dave by emails or blank him out and avoid him um, totally she just cut him dry obviously I think she must have tried to take some more money off him first but absolutely bled him dry <laughs> with that since odd well not bled him dry but took a load of money off him I have no details of how she actually broke it off and how Dave reacted but this operation that O had now found had netted her a quick over half a million baht in the course of a month she was very happy with the outcome very happy could she do it again could she rinse and repeat she had about six other foreigners on the hook or could she just gain new foreigners and from meeting them to a bogus ceremony in a village how quick could she turn a foreigner around <clears throat> Well, she decided she was going to give it a go without using her current list of um, foreigners that send her money. She's going to try it, see if she can hook a foreigner quickly. It had worked with this guy being young, but there's not many guys that are that young with a lot of money spare who are going to fall for it. So she decides she's going to go for an older clientele heartless she has no consideration or thought for the damage it will do to these men the amount of money that she could take off them it could leave them broke it could actually break the person but after being in the industry seven years eight years all she thought about was having a bank full of money so reminds me of jib how hard her heart has gone she's heartless not a care in the world for emotions for the people people's lives she's about to ruin or hurt not a care in the world She's a very, very pretty girl. Very pretty. Very slim. Speaks great English. A business mind. Sharp as a button. Would you like to meet her? Mm. Sure I would. Oh. And there we are. That is O. What is she going to do? How many sin sod acts, plays, performances can she get away with? Can she get away with them? Who's her next target and how's she going to get that target? Currently, she is in Phuket. She hasn't gone back. Um, that Dave guy flew back and she just stayed there so it's probably a better idea for her to get her next target away from where she normally works and that's her plan as usual put your thoughts below have you ever met oi oh oh oi oh have you ever met a girl like oh and if you did what would you do how would you react if it happened to you, has it happened to you, what would you do? See you on the next one. Have a great day. Bye for now.